Hey guys, let's go back in time for the best cheat in Magic the Gathering, and this cheat is a doozy. It's, in my opinion, one of the best executed. The cheat itself is quite simple. I'm going to tell you who did the cheat, and then you can watch the video for the first time, and then I'll describe the play-by-play -play action. So the cheat was by John Eldon at 2012 Star City Games, Detroit. Now, Star City Games is notorious for cheating. That is Alex Bercini's home. And we all know Alex Bercini is a great, a masterful cheater. The reason this cheat is so impressive, in my opinion, and I don't mean that in a positive way. I mean this in a very practice. This cheat has been practiced many times, is how smooth it goes. The confidence someone has when they make a cheat. So the cheat involves Battle Skull, and that's the card that you should have kept an eye on which is now currently at the bottom of the deck. Notice John leaves one card, which is a battle skull, because of the Vendillion click. And he's shuffling his deck. And watch him pick up the battle skull. Oh, do you guys see that? Guys, did you just see what happened? The battle skull was put at the bottom of his deck because of Samuel's Vendillion click. And now it has gone into his hand, which is very important because of Sword and Feast and Famine. You attach it, you attack with Stoneforge Mystic, now you pay, play your Battle Skull. That's a very, you untap your land and you play your Battle Skull. Typically, you couldn't do both because your Battle Skull wouldn't be in your hand. And that's the key card. Again, the Battle Skull is the card that Samuel chose as the most important card in his hand, in John's hand. And he placed it at the bottom of John's library. There's no way for John to get Battle Skull. The commentators, of course, commend John for a lucky draw and say, Wow, he drew the Battle Skull naturally. Amazing. It's the only one in his deck list. So, I don't know what it is about Star City commentators, but they sure, like, they seem to know what's going on. They seem to know that something is wrong. And instead of investigating, they're just like, oh, next Good win. That was lucky. Man, I can't believe Alex has 10 land in play on turn two. So lucky. So lucky. And it's like, uh, no. Fetch lands have been the number one reason people cheat. I will point blank say it. Whenever you can manipulate your deck, whenever you have a card and you can manipulate your deck almost each turn, people are going to take advantage of that. Look at that. I mean, look at the way he puts his graveyard. He puts the white card so they cannot see. And he does it with such confidence. At some point in time, he might realize, oh, hey, the battle skull I left on the table is not in my deck. All right, I'll just put it in my hand. <laughs> Star City Games is full of cheaters. I, I can't imagine an organization that has more winners... Their champions have all cheated. Like, hmm. Now, this happened in 2012. It wasn't a big deal. This is the first time I've heard of it or even seen it. A subscriber sent it to me. And I encourage you to send me more because who knows how often this happens. There was not a big deal. To my knowledge, John Eden was not, Elden was not banned or even punished for this behavior. In fact, he was probably rewarded with the win and some cast money and maybe a place at a Power 9. I have Alex's any indication of what's going on here. This cheat is so common among pro Magic players. If you cheat on camera, how many times have you cheated off camera? Is my question, right? If you behave poorly one time, it doesn't, and you get caught, it doesn't mean it's the only time you behaved poorly. So. The way that he's doing his graveyard is kind of confusing. I mean, look how close that polluted delta is his, to his Stoneforge Mystic. And then he hides. Look at that Battle Skull. That's the Battle Skull, right? Look at that one card. And into his hand it goes. Tell me again how awesome Magic Pros are, because I will catch each and every one of them cheating. Put them on camera enough times, they cannot control their habits. 
The reason that cheaters get caught isn't because they don't know they're on camera. The cheaters are actually very intelligent individuals because a lot of these are very, very intelligent mechanics that they're using, almost like a real magician. This has to be one of the best cheats I've ever seen in my life. Uh, it is so smooth, so well practiced. His opponent even cuts the deck. So, And it's very common because when you have a fetch land, you can manipulate your deck. Basically, a fetch land for some people can just get a land. You pay one life and you get a land. For other people, you pay one life, you vampiric tutor, and then you also get a land. Vampiric tutor is a really great card. It costs one black but you lose two life and you lose one card, which is the Vampiric Tutor. So imagine a, I guess the better example would be, imagine a fetch land that also had Demonic Tutor on it. Well, I guess it would be Vampiric Tutor without the life loss. So a fetch land that says, crack it, search the library for any card, put it on top of your um, library or into your hand eventually and pay one life and you get the effects of a fetch land and a vampiric tutor of course we're not going to win imagine every fetch land in john eden's deck being a, a fetch land plus a free vampiric tutor with no discard disadvantage so it's kind of like a fetch land pay one life search your library for a card put it on top of your library gain two life and draw a card right Vampiric Tutors, you're down one card, you're down two life, and you're down one black mana. Fetch lands are already very good. So a fetch land with that potential is game breaking. Every fetch land in John's deck now is a Vampiric Tutor for free. No card is, I mean, even if it was just a Vampiric Tutor, that would be really good. That would be a, such a broken card as a land. I, I don't get it. Uh, maybe someone can explain to me why John Eden has gone unpunished for this length of time. I do feel bad for Samuel because I'm sure that right after this match, Samuel realizes something is wrong. The commentators immediately, when one of them says, oh, he naturally drew the battle skull. That can't happen because there's only one battle skull in the deck. He would have to do another, he would have to wait another turn. And that's very, very important. John Eden would have to wait another turn to play his Battle Skull. He would have to tap the Stoneforge Mystic, look for the Battle Skull, put it in play. He can't go for a Feast and Famine equipped and play the Battle Skull because it wouldn't be in his hand. I don't know. I mean, it's a beautifully executed cheat. I'm I'm very impressed by it. I mean, look at it. The, look at that one battle skull right there. Oh, enter the hand. How many times do you think John Eden has done this? Hundreds? Thousands? Welcome to becoming a Magic the Gathering pro. Like, wouldn't it be great if somebody sent me a video and people were, were not playing their... I mean, look at the grave. Oh, finally he starts moving it across... I, the table is messy. Look at the dude. He's like, got ya, bro. Got ya. <laughs> Look, you cannot beat any everyone. You cannot beat anyone. If I'm playing a regular deck and I'm playing fair, and my opponent is playing Vampiric Tutors for every fetch land for free, plus one card, plus two life, plus one ba black mana. Just imagine that land. I mean, imagine how strong that land would be. It would be the strongest card in all... I think it would be stronger than Black Lotus because you are getting a tutor effect. You're essentially getting Demonic Tutor on a stick without paying for it. And you get the land. So if you looked for something that was a one mana or whatever drop, you could play instantaneously with no downfall except you lost one life. Vampiric Tutor, one of the very, very best cards in Magic the Gathering on every single fetch land that John Eden controls. How are you going to beat John Eden and his amazing fetch land vampiric tutor deck? You can't. How many times has John Eden done exactly what he did here? You would have to do it, I would imagine, a few hundred times to be at this move and a few thousand times to do it while on camera. 
because I'm assuming he forgot that he's on camera. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.